Hi, Nick here. Today's Slack key lesson is going to focus on a descending turnaround in OpenG or Tarot Patch tuning. This lesson assumes that you have some basic familiarity with how to play in the tuning, including knowing these sixth interval double stops here that are pretty commonly used. It also assumes that you have a basic facility of uh, finger picking with your right hand. This lesson is uh, not super basic, but it's maybe a step or two up from that. So if you're still learning how to finger pick, this would actually be a great exercise for you to learn to kind of work on your right hand a little bit. With that, let's begin. Today we're going to look at a descending turnaround where we resolve from a D7 to a G chord. It's a very common type of turnaround and it goes like this. Start on the D7 here. simple. We're just working our way down through these common shapes here, these six double stops, until we get here and then we lift that ring. We're starting off up here on the 11th and 12th frets, third string and first string, and we're going to take the uh, first finger on our left hand and lean the fleshy part against that second string to mute it because we don't want that to ring out and we can do that for all of these shapes that we're going to go through. Let's just start off playing the these shapes here. We're going to play one per beat. I'm going to count it off in eighth notes. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and one and two, three, four. Again, one So that's pretty simple. Let's add the bass line in now. We're going to play a strict uh, alternating bass line. It's going to be eighth notes. And over D7, it's going to be the sixth and fourth string. So it's going to be like that. And then over G, it's going to be the fifth string and the fourth string. Okay. Let's try this, uh, <clears throat> both of these parts together, just playing them like that for now. Ready? Go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Again. Okay, still pretty simple. The next thing we want to do is add in the uh, right hand picking on these uh, shapes and the top voice here in the melody. And what we're going to do for each of them, except the last one, is we're going to play first string, third string, first string. Strings one, three, one. Notice I'm using these two fingers here on my right hand. And just the top part, the melody is going to sound like this. last one we just play both of those notes together and let it ring for the entire bar same as before. So these notes here that's kind of a triplet feel alright and we're going to be playing that on top of a straight eighth note bass. So to start off you may just want to try keeping your left hand in one place and and focusing on the right hand on the picking part and just play that slowly. start slower than that and just work on it for like five or ten minutes however long it takes until your right hand becomes comfortable with that pattern and you can just sort of set it on autopilot uh, and then once you have that you can start to uh, play the run with moving your left hand around through these shapes so let's try that together now ready go Again. 
one more time. Okay, so that is the turnaround. Next, we can look at a variation of this turnaround. It's going to use a similar right hand picking pattern, except this time on the uh, treble part, we're going to play third string, first string, third string. So it's basically the opposite of what we were doing before. It's going to be strings three, one, three. So the pattern is going to be. start holding your left hand in one spot to work on the right hand part until you get that down. Play it through it slowly for you know five minutes or so. Once you have that then you can attempt the run and move your left hand around as well. So let's try that now. We're gonna run through it a few times. Ready? Go! that note ring, same as before. Again. Again. Okay, one more time. Okay, so there's a variation on that turnaround. I think both of these uh, variations that we looked at, the first one and the one we just did, are great things to practice and that they're going to be useful in a lot of slack key songs. Thanks for watching this lesson. I'll see you next time.